Yeah, I'll tell you my personal favorite with all this, even though I'm a lifelong learner, I loved going through my graduate programs, I loved going through my CMAAA process, uh, but I tell you my favorite by all is simply connecting and learning from others, okay? And you could call it a fancy term of networking, which is what you do at like the national conference, what you do at your state conference, or it could be as simple as just like calling that AD from across the town and saying, hey, you know what? We don't get to talk too much. I know we're rival schools and you do a great job, but you want to grab lunch on Friday? You know, you just want to talk. We, you know, now the now the year's winding down, or maybe you're a one school town and, and there's that school that's about 10 miles away. Same concept. Hey man, you want to get together, you know, for for a, a quick meal and just kind of, or maybe you get a couple people together. That is my favorite because that is when the best learning and growth happens. Because folks, who do we get to do that with right now? Man, we, even if you have an assistant or you have a supported principal, we are like a one person show. And who else in your building knows what you do exactly, every day? Exactly, exactly. Just you. So find as Absolutely. many opportunities you can to, and, and honestly, here, here's the sweet spot, is you're learning, but you're probably enjoying it too because who are the guys and gals that we see often? Okay, that's why we like going to the National AD Conference or the State AD Conference, is that's the one time where we get to see a lot of our friends and we get to learn. So this is this is huge. Take care of yourself, pour into yourself. You won't regret it and your people won't forget it and regret it either. So um, this is a certainly something top of mind for you as you transition into your new role um, as a building athletic director. You know, I think setting up your successors for success. That's a nice tongue twister. I think I said that yesterday as well, too. This is, you know, put yourself in the shoes of the person who is coming in. If you are moving on to another role, right? What do you want them to experience when they come in to that new position, right? What do you want when you go into a new position? You know, I know this is kind of a time of flux here, right? A lot of people are moving to different buildings or they're transferring over to another school, whatever it might be, you know, this is a topic of conversation that I think is important. Yeah. So, I mean, guys, the, the, the biggest rule of thumb is just treat others how you would want to be treated. And not just that, but no matter why or how you're leaving and going to a new place, you've put your blood, sweat, tears, and more into the work you've done there. And so there's a bit of you that probably is obviously sad you're leaving probably. And, but a lot of you that is so proud that you want to leave that in good hands. Now, there's also a really big point of trust here. You probably were not involved in the hiring process to select your replacement. Typically never happens. But you have to go into that starting to build a relationship that you're going to move on from, okay? And that you have to then trust them, but we have to give our best. And and I say the we, you know, word here and that this is this is like duty back to the profession right? No matter how you feel or, or why you're going out, we have a duty to help set that person up for success. Not because you either like or dislike them or anything about that, but because that kiddo who was, you know, one of your favorite freshmen, really knucklehead, but a good kid, that new AD is going to be the one to help lead and grow that coach that is going to give that kid the best opportunity to have fun and be successful. So again, it really just comes down to just like, doing everything in your power so that if the roles are reversed and if you were the new person coming in, then you would want that person to be able to pour everything into you so that you can hit the ground running and be like, oh man, I'm ready to go because the alternative is, is, is not good. Right. And so we all know what we don't want this to be.